Hi guys, my name is Hemi, and today we'll be going over Wylock second grade worksheet lesson number 24. Okay, so we reviewed this last time, mental math review. Jane saw 43 bluebirds, and she saw 25 redbirds. So a way to add this in mental math, you will add the tens first, and add the ones. Later, you will add the sums, okay? So if we apply this, because we did this last time, this should be what's going on in your brain while you're solving this. So if it's 33 plus 16, you look at the tens place first. 30 plus, oopsies, 30 plus 30 plus 10 will equal, will equal 40. And then look at the ones place, 3 plus 6 will equal to 9, 40 plus 9 will equal 49. So your answer would be 49. So if we try this mentally in our brains, we look at the tens place first, which is 1 and 4, so 10 plus 40 is 50, 7 plus 5 is 12. We move the 10 to the tens place, which would be 60, not 50 anymore, 62, because there's two ones remaining. 22 plus 35, you add the 2 and the 3, 20 plus 30 is 50, and 2 plus 5 is 7, so your final answer would be 57. 48 plus 32, 40 plus 30 is 70, 7, 8, plus, 8 plus 2 would be 10, so you have 70 plus 10, which is 80, you have 57 plus 39, 5 50 plus 30 will equal to 80, 7 plus 9 will equal to 16, the 10 will move on to the 10th place, which it will no longer be 80, it will be 90, and then the remaining ones would be 6, so it will be 96. Mental math matching. Math, match each math story to the mental math method. The first one is already done for you. So we see that this one is already done for us, so this one is out. So Lar Lane has 69 pennies, Car has 16 pennies. How many pennies are there in all? So we can see the pattern or the correlation they did here. She added 1 to 69 pennies, which equals to 70. And so since she added 1 to 69, she had to minus 1 from the 16, which would equal 1 to 15, and they both result in 85. As your final answer. So Matt has 50, 54 pennies and Anna has 31 pennies. How many pennies are there in all? Okay, so we can solve this by adding 54 plus 31. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus, eight, five plus 3 is 8. So your final answer is 85. But there is no answer that has 85. So this would go to here. Chris has 59 pennies and Kev Kevin has 36. So 59 plus 36. 9 plus 6 is 5. And then 5 plus 3 plus 1 would be 9. So our final answer is 95. But there are two 95s, right? So we have to look at the ratio for this. 59 to 36. So that's like more than half, right? So... 80, to 80 plus 15 would be more reasonable than 9 to 5 because the ratio is more closer to 80 to 8, 15. Liz has 70, 74 pennies. Shannon has 21. So you would add 50, 74 plus 21, which would be 4 plus 5 is 1. 7 plus 2 is going to be 9. So um, this fills in with the left out 95. And then here, Rachel has 37 pennies, Roy has 38, 38 pennies. How many pennies are there in all? So we would add 37 plus 38, 37 plus 8 would be 15, and 3 plus 3 plus 1 would be 7. And the only remaining answer with 75 would be this one. So to re-highlight, it would be this one to this one, this one to this one, this one to this one, this one, 
and then this one like that. Jasmine has 40, 48 stickers. Her uncle brings her 36 more. How many more stickers does she have in all? So use the mental math method. They want us to solve it mentally. So we have 48, 36. So you will look at the 4 and the 3, which is 40 plus 30, which is 70. And 8 plus 6, which is 14. So, so 70 plus 14 would be 84. So you would have 86. 84 stickers in total. <clears throat> 42 children took a math test on Tuesday. 38 children took a math test on Friday. How many children took the test in all? So let's again try to use our mental math method. So 42 children took a math test. 80, no, 38 children took it on Friday. So 40 plus 30 would be 70. 2 plus 8 is 10. 70 plus 10 would be 80. So how many children took it in all? 80 children took the test in all. Lastly, Lisa has 47 erasers. Raul has 29. How many erasers do they have in all? So again, we are going to add 40 plus 20 is 60. 7 plus 9 is 16. 60 plus 16 would equal to 70. 6 erasers.